I will tell you uh, there are three four reasons that we have got in for this IPO. One is uh, we want the Ugandan stock markets to grow, and uh, being one of the largest companies operating in Uganda, uh, it's our responsibility to uh, uh, list in this market, expand this uh, capital market, increase the awareness of investing in equity shares uh, for the local community make them part of our growth story and in the process uh, help uh, this particular segment of investment that is the equity markets grow in Uganda. That's one. Second is as part of our NTO license, we, we are mandated to list uh, in the Uganda Stock Exchange. 20% of our shares are uh, to be sold to uh, the local Ugandan population, including institutional investors. Uh, and list in the Ugandan Stock Exchange. The third is uh, when you uh, list in the Stock Exchange, uh, you uh, bring in investors, the level of corporate governance will increase. And that's a very big factor, corporate governance. More, all companies strive to better their corporate governance. And uh, the la one of the other reasons that I want to tell you here is that tomorrow for our growth, if we have to access uh, funds for our expansion uh, or uh, any requirement of funds once you list in the capital in the stock market it's easier for us to raise funds in the equity market so these are the reasons why we decided to uh, list in the Uganda stock markets we are uh, uh, selling 20 percent of our uh, uh, shares that's 8 billion shares uh, each uh, share is valued at 100 shillings so it's an 800 billion Ugandan shillings offer in the uh, IPO currently that is going on. So if you really uh, look at our history, I first want to start with the history of this organization. We started off as Celtel in 1995. This is the first mobile operator in Uganda. Uh, the Celtel operations uh, were, got sold to Zane and uh, we took over Zane operations in Uganda in 2010. In the year 2014, we also acquired Varid's, uh, Varid's operations in Uganda and that's the organization that you see today as a result of all these mergers and acquisitions as Airtel Uganda. Now, Airtel Uganda, as you know, uh, is, uh, is uh, known for its smartphone network. Uh, we have 100% 4G. Uh, across Uganda. Way back in 2019, we decided to make all our sites 4G. And during the COVID crisis, uh, the Airtel network was available across Uganda for people to work from home and learn from home. So this is uh, a network that people prefer a lot. And uh, especially on the, uh, on the uh, data side, uh, we are one of the leading providers of internet in this country. Um, you, we also take pride in bringing the best technology uh, and the latest technology into Uganda. Uh, as you saw in the launch of eSIM, uh, we are the only eSIM provider in the country today. We have launched uh, Volti, the voice over LT services, which provide uh, uh, seamless, uh, high definition uh, voice quality uh, to our customers. And last but not the least, you saw how we launched our 5G in Uganda. We have 50 sites now uh, live on 5G in Kampala. So uh, we are seen as an innovative company uh, who gives affordable products to customers and widely available across Uganda. So uh, our shareholders uh, uh, are uh, offering this at 20% uh, of the value of the company is being offered as, as part of the IPO and each share is listed at 100 shillings. But there are a lot of incentives for customers. As you take more shares, you get more incentive bonus shares uh, for this. The details are there in the prospectus. For retail investors, uh, if they apply for more than 2,500 shares and up to 18.5 million shares, they will receive five incentive shares for every 100 shares allocated. For retail investors applying for more than 2,500 shares and up to 18.5 million shares and they apply through the MIPO platform, they get one share additional incentive. That means they will get six shares for every 
100 shares allocated so there are three uh, first of all we would request all investors uh, to go through our prospectus uh, uh, and understand what is what are the details what are the risks are, are, are associated with any investment as a risk all those risks all those offer details everything is uh, detailed in the prospectus uh, there are three ways you can uh, apply for these shares uh, you can go through the mipo platform through atl money uh, you can go to the usc website and uh, apply through the usc website and third you can go to any authorized selling agent and they will help you to apply for these shares uh, it, uh, the detailed prospectus is there on our website it is available on uh, uh, on uh, the uh, is available with all our authorized service agents uh, so and it's widely available and if anyone wants uh, the copy of the prospectus they can reach out to us and we will send a copy october 13th is the last day of the ipo and by october 30th we will finalize the allocation and by october 31st we are planning the listing in the uganda stock uh, i would uh, request the public to be part of our growth story invest in equities as an alternate option compared to the other investment uh, models available like real estate bonds equity is a good option to invest uh, please go through the prospectus understand the details and please be part of our growth story